Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto. Welcome back. Today's quick tip is just gonna go over some basic crimping techniques. If you didn't know these already, this video is for you. So I got this wire harness that came off this 2017 Dodge Durango, which made contact with the exhaust at some point and melted through. This isn't gonna be a debate over solder and versus crimp, but I will tell you when it comes to something like this, crimp is usually the preferred method to go about this but you have to do it correctly. So when you use your tools, you gotta make sure you're using a tool that is made for insulated or not insulated. Some give you the option of both. I'm not sure if you see this on a set of clines, you'll have NON up top. You'll see the one with the piece that protrudes, that's for non-insulated. And usually the more rounder eggshell is for insulated. Same thing goes when you use these. Now that you know, these are for insulated connectors. This one looks very similar. However, you can see the style that is for non-insulated. For this repair, I'm gonna be using non-insulated with shrink wrap. Trim it back, that might be a little too long. And how do you know? You'll see that indent, and I think that one's a little long, so I'll just trim a little bit once you have it pushed in until it stops. I'm gonna take the Klein tool, so you can see so you got yay much out the back. You can see where the center is. And then we're gonna just simply squeeze as tight as we can. Now we'll take a look at that style crimp. So that's a good example of a non-insulated crimp. One of the best crimps, in my personal opinion. Next best option is a shrink wrap, weather tight, barrel butt connector. You're gonna slide it in until it stops, like so. And then on this method, if I were to use the same Klein tool, I would go back to the insulate it. On the same mark, And you squeeze it. And you can see how nice that does as well. On this dial, I'd crimp both sides and then I'd heat it up and melt the shrink wrap down. On this dial, you gotta make sure you put your heat shrink tube in on first, crimp the adjacent side, and then shrink wrap it. I usually put it about 50-50 heat it up and melt it together. Preferred method, second preferred method. I'm gonna open it for debate, soldered versus crimped, especially when it comes to controlled wires and any wires that may flex. What do you guys prefer? Let me know your reasons why and what is right and what is wrong in your book.